everybody. It is Casey Coke from the Real Thing with the Coke family. And I am showing you how to make a, an adorable pom-pom wreath because, you know, pom-poms make everything super happy. So just to start off with, um, show you how I like to make pom-poms. These are clover pom-pom makers that you can get. I'm sure you can get them at the craft store. I just ordered mine on Amazon. You can order multiple sizes. And all you do with this is just take your yarn and wrap it around. And I like to do the going this direction and all the way to the end and then come back and then come back again. So I've wrapped it three times before I move on to the next side. And that way you get these nice, fluffy, full um, pom-poms that look really good. So once you have it all wrapped, you just take your scissors. You There's a little part here that's gonna pop open that we were just using. You're gonna hold that down. Put your scissors in this center little um, crevice that there is and just cut. And it really helps if, like these scissors are insanely sharp and that super helps if you have really sharp, sharp scissors. And then you're going to take a little piece of your yarn and put it into that crevice there. And you're going to pull it really tight, as tight as you possibly, possibly can. And this is going around a little metal pin that's in there and creating your knot. So you're going to then just knot it. And I like to, for extra security, then flip it over and do another knot on this side. Again, pulling it as tight as I can to help it stay together. Just like that. And then you're just gonna lift up on these little pieces and then the ones on the other side, like that, and pull it apart. And then you just fluff. And obviously I've got these little tails. These are from where I tied it off. And there's often, you may or may not be able to see it on camera, but you have some little pieces that aren't exactly even. So just take your scissors and give your little pom-pom a little haircut. I have a styrofoam wreath here that I chose on purpose because as you can see, it's got curved edges on the inside and the outside. And what I'm hoping is that the pom-poms, I can glue them on so that they're covering every edge like that. As with any craft, I'm learning as I go. <laughs> and then you get to just know how to do it because I write it all up for you or video it all for you. So what I'm finding is that if I leave the pom-poms as they are, they're not sticking very well, um, no matter whether I put the glue on the pom-pom or on the wreath. So as much as it breaks my pom-pom loving heart, the thing I'm finding that's working the best is to take the scissors and kind of flatten one side out and you go, ah! <laughs> um, and then actually what I think works the absolute best is just to put a little dab of glue in there and like let it dry so that gets kind of hard. And then um, put your glue directly on your wreath and be generous with it your wreath form and put that now shaved bit of your pom-pom right into that and just press it in there and hold it for a minute to let it set and while I'm holding that one the other thing you can see I did is I decided I wanted to do light pink dark pink and blue and I just used a regular marker it yeah I'm sure it'll come off well maybe it won't but um to kind of give myself a guesstimate as to where I want to stop with each color because I noticed when I was doing the dry run with it it was a little challenging with all the pom-poms to kind of know and get a decent perspective so you might want to mark off if you're working with multiple colors like I am what area you actually want to use for each color and then make sure when you're cutting this bit off that you don't go too deep because if you go too deep with it you're going to actually cut into the center of the pom-pom the part that's actually holding it together and you don't want to do that so it's just going to be a bit of this cutting and gluing and continuing on in that manner 
This is not necessarily a super quick craft, but um, definitely cuteness factor makes the time worth it. Once you have all your pom-poms on there and glued in place, if you want to, if you notice any little stragglers that are sticking up or looking funky, you can go through with your scissors and give the final little haircut to your little cuties. <laughs> then what you're going to need is a way to hang this. And so I am going to, I've got some cute pink polka dot ribbon. This is just a simple hot glue this to the back of the wreath where you want it to hang from. So find your center point. I think that's where I want mine to go from. Flip that sucker over. That's in the way. And add your glue. you're going to need a second glue for these you know other piece of ribbon and you're going to want to let this set up and make sure it's fully dry before you hang it um, that way it won't rip back out uh, because this is also a floral foam you could use a staple or a pin to hold it in place like you could glue it and then do that for just extra added security it, it does get kind of heavy because of the weight of all the pom-poms. So I think I will probably end up doing that, putting a pin or something in the, into it just to give it some extra security on top of the hot glue. Cause it, like I said, it does get really heavy. And voila, there we go. We have this adorable pom-pom wreath. You can customize it to any color that you prefer. It doesn't have to be these. You could do all one color. You could do, I mean, any number of colors you want. So do it in the colors that you really like that match your house. And um, just know that taking the pom-poms, making the pom-poms takes a little while. Not a really big deal because you can do it while you're watching shows and whatnot. I was getting caught up on Real Housewives of New York City while I was watching that, so or while I was making these. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, share it, please. I'd love you to help me um, reach more people with the fun crafts and um, give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe or follow so that you can see the next crafts that I come out with or organization ideas. All right, see you in the next video.